campaign. The last Vance of, of the 2022 primary. Join me in welcoming the next senator from Ohio, J.D. Vance. More than 200 were at the Manor House in Mason to witness thunder, the kind that connects them to this day to former President Donald Trump, whose endorsement rocketed Vance to the top of the polls on election eve. I'm sick of the left devastating and decimating the greatest country in the world, and I'm sick of the weak Republicans who refuse to stand and fight against it. That's why I'm running for U.S. Senate. Josh Mandel has made the same declarations, but carries no Trump endorsement. Only the J.P. Mandel verbal gaffe by Trump that injected a comedic misidentification to the five-way scrum. Matt Dolan is rising, telling us he has no time nor the inclination for the noise of the other four because he's focused on Ohio. The political fortunes of businessman Mike Gibbons seem to have declined as interest in Vance has picked up. Jane Timken, the self-described mom on a mission, would defy the polls at this point if she won. She carries the endorsement of the senator who's retiring, Rob Portman. It's all about grassroots at this point. In other words, it depends who comes to the polls. And Jane Timken's done a good job of knocking on doors. Those Ohio Republicans who vote Tuesday must now decide which of the five doors they'll choose to open. It's become a, a test of what Ohio Republicans want their party to be. It might be a test of the Trump influence in the Buckeye State. As Vance posed for photos with supporters tonight, he's feeling more confident about what test results will show. And statewide, according to the Secretary of State's office, 302,000 absentee ballots have been requested. More than 263,000 early votes have been cast. That is higher than 2018, the last comparable midterm. Tomorrow's turnout will determine how all this ends up. Live in Norwood, John London, WLWT News 5.